Hello everyone, Luca Mazzucchelli here. Today we speak about persuasion at work with Robert Cialdini. Hello Dr. Cialdini and thank you so much for being here. Thank you Luca, I'm glad to be with you. Today we all have to persuade others in a few minutes. In your opinion, what are the elements that turn a short communication into a persuasive one? Well, there's one that I think um, stands out in this regard that causes people to suddenly want to listen to us and consider whether they will uh, accept our uh, recommendation. And that is the idea of potential loss. Psychologically, the idea of losing an opportunity is more powerful than the idea of gaining that very same opportunity. So one way we can arrange for people to listen intently and be ready to move in our direction is to give them genuine, honest evidence of what they will miss if they fail to move in our direction. Not just what they will gain if they do, but what they will lose. Because loss, psychologically, is more compelling than gain for humans. What is the first rule of sales? You know, I always heard that the number one rule of sales is to get your customer to like you. And once they feel this sense of rapport, they will want to do business with you. I think that's true, but I don't think it's the first rule of sales. For me, the first rule of sales would be to, to come to like your customer, to show that person that you care about him or her. That allows this person to trust you and to feel comfortable moving in directions that you are recommending because we all know that we protect the people we like. So if we have come to like our customer and they see it, they will feel more comfortable with us and they will be right because if we truly come to like them, we will be sure that we protect their interests. What are the features uh, that a persuasive leader should have? For me, the, the, the best thing a persuasive leader can do is to treat each member of his or her group individually, personally, to show that there is concern for everyone's interests, not just the leader's interests, but for the individual members of the group. This sense of being a leader by relationship, very important. What is the most important principle to use at work? For me, the most important one would be to begin with the liking process, to be sure that there is a sense of simpatico, there's a sense of, um, of concern and liking between two individuals. That creates the fundament, the groundwork for all of the other principles to work more powerfully. Last question, Dr. Cialdini. In an evaluation process, what are the instruments that permit a measurement of the persuasion? For me, we can't lay claim to persuasion until we have laid claim or we have evidence of change. So it's the measurement of change that's crucial. Of course, there are many things we can change about a person. We could change that individual's beliefs, we could change attitudes, we could change perceptions. But for me, the most important thing is to change behavior. It's the measurement of behavior change that is the best index of success. Perfect. Dr. Cialdini, thank you very much for your time. It has been a pleasure to speak with you. You as well, Luca.